Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Arrow Season 7 Episode 18 called Lost Canary. So we start off with Laurel is on a complete and utter rampage and she wants Shadow Thief and so she finds her and wants, a, wants her to be her partner. Then we have Felicity try calling her and that was not happening. And then we cut to um, where she strategizes with Oliver about Emika. Then we cut to a flash forward scene and they're on the run from, I think it's an android. I'm not completely sure. I'm just going with an android. Then we cut to the present day where um, a man hunt has been issued for Laurel. Then Felicity tells to Dina. And then we cut to Laurel steals cash from a guy at a dry clearance who's obviously using that as a front. And then we go to... Uh, Felicity clears Laurel on about offing the guy that was actually Amiko and not her. But, you know, Laurel stole uh, $100,000 and some stuff. So, yeah. And then we cut to Oliver and Dig or that an apartment and found a secret compartment and a guy and we found out that he's a Lombo hunter thanks to Diggle's intel. And I'm uh, from Argus. So then Felicity tells to Laurel and basically I her out. She literally disconnected the f uh, thing trying to reason with her. So Laurel literally disconnected the computer. Then we have a flash forward scene where um, we found out that there's this whole canary network and they lost 10 canaries. Then Mia wants to fight but everyone else is like slow your roll and let's get a plan, okay? And then we get to the present day where Dinah confronts Laurel. And then Sarah showed up, which was so freaking cool. And they have a really cool fight scene, and the, but Laurel did escape. Then Dinah and Felicity talk, and Laurel and Shadow Thief talk, and Shadow, Shadow Thief has a new job. So Oliver interrogates the sky and gets info. Basically, the Knights of the Night Circle, whatever, orchestrated everything with Amiko from the very beginning. So, yeah. Then Sarah is on the summon ladder, and so Felicity was reminiscing with her about that, so they talk. And then um, we found out that Dina or Diana got a location, so Felicity goes with her and tells Sarah to stay behind. Because they, she wants, Diana wants to above board. Then we cut to where uh, Laurel rid the room, um, but Diana and Felicity are fine. The Sarah gets some air after they return. Then a flash forward scene where Dina tries to stop Mia and basically she wants her to come. So Mia says like, no, why don't you come with me? Because two is better than one. And so then uh, Dina talks about why she started the Canaries, basically to help people. And gets her a pin. Then Mia's like, no, I'm not a Canary and gets it back. <laughs> we go to the present day where Dante, like I said, did everything with Emiko. And then Sarah talks to Laurel at uh, Quentin's grave. And then that doesn't really go anywhere, so she leaves for the job with Shadow Thief. And we cut to where um, Sarah and Dinah show up, and Felicity too. And they try to reach her, and it finally works. And so, uh, but Shadow Thief um, brought back up, and they have a really awesome fight scene, and they manage to escape, and Felicity blew up the building and the thing that they're trying to steal. So then Dinah had Laurel cleared, but Laurel is actually going to go home to Earth to, to face what she did, thanks to Sarah's speech. It's like, got face your past to get over everything and take ownership. So Felicity gives Dinah a canary cry that actually came from Sarah. And then Felicity gives Laurel Earth One Laurel's costume to take with her, and they hug goodbye. And then we have, uh, then we cut to some Alicity uh, time, and then we cut to um, a Laurel and Sarah talk before um, Laurel leaves. Then we have a flash forward scene where it's Mia versus the android, and then the future Laurel saves her, and. Uh, off the android's head and tells her to give it to Felicity and that's in the episode. I gave this one a, a strong A. 
I didn't like some of the camera work in here. That's why I didn't give it A plus because I've always been such an A plus. Because I was not expecting Sarah Lance to be in this, and I was like, oh, that's so cool. I really, really enjoyed this episode. The fight scenes were great, but some of the camera work was not that great with the fight scene. So that's really my only complaint about the about it. But other than that, it was a really good episode. I really enjoyed it, and that's going to do it for this video. And I'm very excited to see what's going to happen next. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, please go like, comment down below, tell me what you think, agree, disagree, tell me your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you all next video. Bye.